Hey, Donnie. Uh, finally made it out here to shoot your latest build. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, we got, we got a 1947 Diamond T here. And uh, sitting on a 70 Chevrolet triple base frame. All your original front end, rear end, all that stuff is uh, off the 70 Chevrolet. And uh, the engine, I got a 430 in it. A little hopped up. And uh, the transmission is $700. I mean, like the old Camaros, 82 Camaros, and stuff like that. And uh, it's got air conditioner, power steering, and it's got electric brake system, and uh, which which helps them stop real good. You don't have to worry about all that other stuff on it. it makes them really do good. But the interior, Baron Todd, done my interior work. Done a good job on it. And, uh, R.J. Robert, he uh. Done all the modification on it. Me and him work together on it. And he works for you? He, he that's all he really does for me is this, this right here. And uh, he's a fabricator. I just sort of tell him sort of what I want. Me and him work together and he'll knock it out for me. He goes to burn. But you know, just come up with little hand designs and stuff like that, signal lights, just little odds and ends to make it stand out a little bit. Got your rebars right here. Catch the hardy can't buy the rubbers no more. And I put, put a little rebar right here because this thing was nailed in the factory with wood and nail. So make it real stout and sturdy. I come up with that rebar deal and I've been using it ever since. I like it a lot. It's a good idea. And then uh, we had to make these running boards, which is a factory, but we just extended it. The bed's off a 52 Chevrolet. Fender's 36, 37 Chevrolet. And you had to widen those, right? We had to widen them because they're fiberglass. But we finally found some steel now, so now they won't be able to see this gap next time on the next ones. Basically, you know, just uh, that's, you know, more or less all the modifications besides, you know, the bed, some of the fuel cell. It's just a good old factory. 70 frame with a old body on it. And what size tires, rims you run it? These are uh, 20s all the way around. 275s, 245s. They look great on this truck. Yeah, uh, they come out good on it. They fit the fenders. The next one we're doing, we're, we're moving everything up three inches and closing this in more. I can show you on the next one. It's going to be a little bit different. You learn on your first one. But you've got another one lined up after oh, this. Yeah, I've got about, <laughs> about 10 more. <laughs> but got the little copper cube, trying to make it like old steel, you know, just trying to add a little touches to it. Then my bumper, I didn't want a full bumper. I wanted to show the diamond tea looks so good right here but see we had to hand make all this that's what you had said you know you can't get that i do have two pieces now but i didn't have this at the time so we had to hand make all that you know i come up with these bumpers because i didn't want to take away from my grills and stuff but that's what makes the diamond tea look good 